Tracton, County Cork, Ireland, a small town with some 2,000 inhabitants and the location of an innovative leader project which has become the heart of this rural community. Miley Collins is the local postman in Tracton and when he heard of plans to demolish the old schoolhouse, he set about finding a way to save it. Yeah, I saw potential for creating something that would uh, give people a sense of community and to that end we sought funding from West Cork Leader who were the governing body in our area at that time and we put before them that this was a showcase project and they responded by saying that they would give us 150,000 if we, if we met all the requirements. Ryan Howard is the manager of the local action group in the area. In this community, this community of Tracton, you had this wonderful asset, this two-storey, beautiful old building, but in order for it to become functional again, they needed an extra investment, which they came to us through the Rural Development Programme. Once funding was received in 2005, work began on the site almost immediately. A, a group of us got together uh, to fund the building, started off collecting money, we took the ivy off it, and we had to go away and buy what land you see now around it and do it up. The community centre now offers a number of facilities which benefit all members of the community, no matter their age or interest. Lisa Rock is the administrator at the centre. It's a centre where people can gather, they can come together in this lovely cosy place and can share their interests, learn new skills and we just provide a lovely space for them to to meet all the different community groups can come together. It has brought together different groups like the active retired parents uh, with young toddlers who in a rural community can be quite isolated, local craft people who come here on Thursdays and do wonderful creative work and lots of other activities. This young mother attends the centre's parent and toddler group. Well, it's great. We uh, play. <laughs> we play a lot and then we do some music at the end which is always fun and the mums get a chance to sit down, have a chat, which is rare, while their kids play along uh, together, which is great. And the ladies from the Tracton All Sorts Quilting Group also get together every week. We have a very pleasant group here insofar as you have a great variety. You have quilters, knitters, embroiderers, tapestry. But perhaps the most important aspect of the centre is the way in which it brings people together in the community. You do feel a little bit isolated, particularly for me because I don't drive. So I'm in the countryside and um, there's, there's a lovely local community, but um, you know, you're, you're a bit limited. In my experience on the post, I find that you, know, you will have young mothers who are quite isolated. Now this, this has given them an opportunity to meet other mothers and to do so in a, in a convivial atmosphere. And it, it certainly has taken the loneliness and the sense of isolation out of their lives. It's a wonderful community spirit. And that's the important thing. And I suppose as... Uh
If you're interested in learning more about leader or rural development projects, log on to the ENRD website for further information.